Bertrand Tavernier, passionate French filmmaker and champion of cinema, dies at 79. The multiple Caesar Award winner wrote and directed The Clockmaker of St. Paul, A Sunday in the Country and Round Midnight. Bertrand Tavernier, the filmmaker, cynist and critic who emerged in the wake of the French New Wave with such classics as The Clockmaker of St. Paul, A Sunday in the Country and Round Midnight, died Thursday. He was 79. Tavernier died in Saint Maxim in the Var region of southeastern France, relatives told the newspaper La Croix. Renowned for the movies he made with actor Philippe Noiret, including The Clockmaker of Saint Paul, 1974, Coup de Torchon, 1981, and Life and Nothing But, 1989, Tavernier directed nearly 30 features and documentaries in a prolific career that began in the early 1960s and continued for the next 50 odd years. A five time Caesar Award winner, two prizes for directing, three for screenwriting, he was accomplished in a wide variety of genres and epics, from gritty crime movies, 1992's L627, 1995's Fresh Bait, to ambitious war flicks, 1996's Captain Conan, to intimate historical dramas, 1976's The Judge and the Assassin, 2010's The Princess of Montpensier, and music films. 1983's Mississippi Blues, 1986's Round Midnight, highlighting his love of American jazz and blues artists. Alongside his directing projects, Tavernier was an avid film writer and critic, with his reviews appearing in Cayer's Du Cinema, Positive, and Cinema. His encyclopedic book Thirty Ans de Cinema Americain, written with Jean-Pierre Cursetin and updated in 1991 to encompass 50 years of movies, has long been considered a reference on Hollywood film in France, and his massive 2008 volume Ami Americains featured interviews with such legendary directors as John Ford, John Huston and Elia Kazin and the more recent auteurs Quentin Tarantino and Alexander Payne. A native of Lyon where he presided over the Institut Lumiere Film Foundation along with con artistic director Thierry Frameau, Tavernier was a lifelong cinephile whose final film, the illuminating documentary A Journey Through French Cinema, 2016, explored the history of Gallic movies by focusing on less championed auteurs including Jacques Becker, Claude Sautet and Hollywood blacklist victim John Barry. Born in the midst of World War II on April 25, 1941, Tavernier was the son of Genevieve Dumont and the writer and resistance fighter René Tavernier. In 1950, the family moved to Paris, where the young Tavernier began frequenting the Cinémathèque Franques. One of his friends in school was future director Volker Schlonderf, the Tin Drum, and along with other cinephiles he founded the film club Le Nickelodeon in 1961. When he graduated high school, Tavernier was hired by director Jean-Pierre Melville as a production assistant on the 1961 religious drama Leon Morin, Priest, starring Jean-Paul Belmondo. He then worked as a publicist for legendary New Wave producer George de Beauregard, whose stable of auteurs included Jean-Luc Godard, Jacques Demy, Agnès Varda and Jacques Rivette. Tavernier worked in tandem with fellow film buff and future con programmer Pierre Rissiant, who died in 2018. After directing several shorts and writing scripts for other filmmakers, Tavernier made his feature debut with The Clockmaker of St. Paul, adapted from a novel by Georges Simonon. It would be his first of many pairings with Moirat, who in this film starred as a lonely single father whose teenage son is accused of murdering a factory watchman. The film, which was made in Lyon, and also featured Gene Rochefort as a police chief in pursuit of the killer, featured many elements that would characterize Tavernier's best known.